many people there are all war. Me, who? Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Today is a gray and rainy day in March. I'm here at the Taipei Hakka Cultural Park. We are going on a very short trip to Guanxi town in Shinsu County. It's a Hakka town. The tour is organized by My Taiwan Tours and also the Hakka Affairs Council. Nice flower. We are going to visit three places. One church, one temple and one old residence. I've been to Guanxi exactly one time. Nice cherry blossoms. So if you're interested in Hakka culture, your best bet is to go to places like Shinsu, where we are going today, or Yaoli County. And even here in Taipei, you have this uh, Taipei Hakka Cultural Park, where you can learn about Hakka culture. see a tong tree blossom, a symbol of the Hakka people. Guanxi, that's where we are going to. And today we are going to visit three places. The first one is Guanxi Sacred Heart, Catholic Church. This is a very beautiful Gothic architecture. And the second stop will be the Taihe Temple. And we will be able to see some um, artwork that the uh, artisan they created. And the last stop today, we are going to visit the Royal Family's private school. And this one was built in 1901. It's a very, very beautiful house. Then we will be able to learn how to make the the Hakka Reddish Man. And this town actually is one of the uh, early developed town in Shinju area. There are about four million of the Hakka population on this island. So we just arrived here in Guanxi. Behind me you can see the Catholic Church was built by Canadian missionaries in the 50s. What the missionaries did is they wanted to spread the gospel among the Hakka people here in Guanxi, so they actually learned the Hakka language. Unfortunately, we are not able to go inside. The church is closed. This is a really green turquoise color. Taihe Temple in Guanxi. Local people, especially the Hakka people, they fought really hard against Japanese. So this temple was destroyed. And then they rebuilt it again in 1901. So this is a Taoist temple. The major gods are the, the divine officials. One is the officials of heaven, and the second one is the official of the land, and the third one is the official of the water. These three are the main gods here. And of course, they also have the goddess of mercy and uh, the god, god of war, Guan Gong, and also the, the goddess of fertility. Second stop of our short trip to Guanxi. This is uh, Taihe Temple behind me, an old temple first built in, uh, a long time ago. I think the current structure is from the early 19th Hundreds. When visiting a temple in Taiwan, you always want to look at the intricate carvings. 
be it stone or wood, you can see the tiger here, little tiger puppy. There, there are Koji pottery figures. And here on the other side you have a dragon or two dragons playing with a ball. Very typical scene. Let's uh, make a quick tour through the temple. Beautiful lanterns up there. I like the red. And here you can see the main god. Of them. There are actually three of them. The emperor official, one for sky, one for the land and one for the water. We also have Matsu. This is the land god, or the earth god. Hello. Hello. So if uh, people want to have a baby, mm -hmm. they will come here to the goddess of fertility. Okay. And uh, very interesting is the towel is there very considerate. Uh -huh. Actually, there are two ladies right next to the goddess of fertility. Uh -huh. They are the nannies. The nannies will help you to help the kids to grow healthy and happily. So they have babies in their hands. Oh, cute. Yeah, oh, really? So you really can see. Okay. You always learn something new. And here we have Kwan in Pusa, the Kwan in Bodhisattva. So this is actually Buddhist goddess. Okay, this, that was the round of the temple. Let's go to the next stop, and the next stop will be the uh, Luo Wu, or the Luo House Family School. I don't know the official name. This is the Luo Family's private school. And I think when we arrived there, they will teach us how to make the Hakka reddish bun. And after we made the buns, then we will start looking around to see the beauty of their house. And only one family lives there, it's all the Ruo family. So if you go out, you see any people, they are all Ruo. That's Ruo. The whole village only has one, one last name. Third and final stop of our short, very short trip to Guanxi. We are at the Luo family private school. Here you can see the Luo family private school building. It's a three-sided courtyard affair. The only people here. Next we are going to do some DIY, I think vegetable radish buns or something. And here we go. Mm. Wash your hands and you can start making your own bun. Make it flat first. Folds. <laughs> Here you can actually see books on the shelves. Looks like a real school. So the buns will steam for about 20 minutes. Uh, this house is very beautiful. So uh, it's their private school, and Mr. Rowe, they just open for people to come and see all the beautiful artwork, like the 
wood carvings, and also those, the little dragons on top, and on the roof, that is the jian nian, cut and paste. And different animals have a different okay, meaning. Yes. The one, the eagle, over there, represent ah. hero. You will be able to see the Chinese piano, and chessboard, and calligraphy, and the painting. That is, because this is a school. And that's how the ancestors, they want their kids to learn here. So here we have a bowl, another bowl. And these bowls were used to create this, or something like this. Beautiful artwork you can see on the, in the temple and on the roof. So below the Luo family private school, which is over there, you have a rice field. Ooh. I'm not sure what these frames are for. <laughs> this is how the Guanxi countryside looks. Rice paddies, some mountains over there. I think there's a river down there somewhere. Let's go back to the Luo family house and see if the buns are ready. Okay, let's try the bun. I'm not sure if I did this one or someone else. So it's a bun with a radish filling, Hakka style. Mm, sticky. Sticky skin. The radish is a little bit spicy, but there's pepper in it. It sticks to the teeth, but quite delicious. There are also bits of mushroom. I think a little bit of pork, probably. Oh, here's a big, bigger chunk of pork. Mm. So if you come to the Luo family private school, can learn how to make these uh, simple radish buns. It takes about 20 minutes only. So overall, this short trip to Guanxi was quite enjoyable. You visit briefly the church, then the uh, temple, and now the private school. If you want to learn about Hakka culture, Guanxi is a good place to start. <coughs> That's it for today. See you again. Bye bye.